Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Melissa Rabronia. I am a heart healer, life coach, and hypnotist. And today we are talking to Peter Bedard. Welcome, Hi. Peter. Hi, thanks. So Peter wrote a book called uh, Convergence Healing. I'll do my Vanna White. Yes, there which is an amazing book. <laughs> and uh, I actually use this with my clients, and I love it. I love hearing yeah, that. Yeah. You had said mentioned that really briefly earlier, and I was I was just yeah, very I yeah. love it. Thank yeah. You. So Thank um, you. Uh, you have an amazing story uh, that brought this uh, to fruition. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about yourself for those that who don't know who you are. So this book came about because somebody killed me. I know that sounds a little weird, but somebody literally drove me into the back of a semi truck. They pushed my back tire on a bike into a park semi. And I died, and lots of stuff happened on the other side, but I came back to a body that was just destroyed. And a life that was destroyed, because my how I understood myself in the world was as a dancer. And my body did no, had no longer had that capability. So I had to heal myself, and I had to find a life purpose. Everything I knew was gone. I had yeah. shattered my left leg, I split my right wrist open, I lost all the nerves in my right hand, I cracked five vertebrae, wow. I had undiagnosed brain damage, I then had you know chronic pain for quite a long period of time. I had fibromyalgia and arthritis and asthma and bronchitis and sciatica and all kinds of things, anxiety and depression that I had to heal myself of. And in order to do that, I had to break away from my thinking. My thinking was Western medicine, and it was drugs and surgery. And the surgery that put my leg back together was awesome, but all the other surgeries that were offered to me were surgeries that might help. They were surgeries that, you know, we think this might help you feel better, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't want maybe. Didn't want maybe at all. And I didn't want the drugs that they kept giving yes. me. So I had to heal myself. And so I started to stumble literally through life because I, and I literally was stumbling because I had one leg shorter than the other and I had constant sciatica issues where I could only crawl on my back. I couldn't even crawl on my front like a baby. I had to wow. kind of crawl on my back. That was the only way I could move. I mean, I, seeing you now, I can't even imagine yeah. that you've been in that place. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. come a really long way. Yeah. You know, I can, I can stretch and I can touch my toes and my legs are about the same length now and my spine has really healed all, all kinds of amazing things that I've been able to achieve primarily, I mean, in fact, almost all through holistic and integrative medicine. Mm -hmm. And so I had to heal myself and I created a process to do that, a process to work with the pain instead of making it your enemy, to embrace it and learn what it has to teach yes. us and to come from that place of love at, towards the pain, to literally love the pain. I talk about in the book about making the pain your best friend. And that's what this idea of energetic love is, that you have to embrace the thing that is most hurting. And most of us want to beat it up and we, we do, we bully it. We make it wrong and bad and we punish it and we want to cut it out and throw it away and do all yes, those terrible yes. things to it. There's a part of us that we don't like, whether it's a mental capacity or whether it is a physical type of thing, you know, our body, something we don't like about our body, or a pain in our body, whatever it is, or even a broken heart, we yes. tell it to go away. Yes. And we shove it down. I mean, we, we make it wrong and bad when it yes. tries to come out and be felt yes. and experienced. And exactly. we've got to love those things. Yes. And I know it sounds a little weird to love your pain, but when we can actually love our pain, think of it this way, if you're hurting, or anybody you know is hurting, when they feel loved, they can heal. And so that's why we love the pain. We love it for really selfish reasons because when we feel loved, we heal. And so when our pain feels love, it has the capacity to heal. So, so that's what you did, right? So that's what I did. I created a whole process called yeah. Convergence Healing. Mm -hmm. And I, I named it that. It's a whole, you know, several steps, 10 steps that we go through on releasing trauma and naming your pain. We actually yeah. give it a name and befriending it and actually asking the pain itself to lead the way into the healing. So instead of telling it what to do, which is what most of us do, which is what Western medicine does, 
you know, we mess up. Let's say we're that 17 year old in high school, right? Yes. And we are messing up big time. Yes. Yeah. And everybody's, you know, going at you. The principal's shaking their finger at you and the parents and your friends and family member and everybody's doing, oh, how are you going to fix this problem? You, 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 you need to do this. You need to do that. Yes. All that type of stuff, right? But nobody bothers to ask the kid. Nobody bothers to say to the 17 year old, hey, you messed up. Yeah. What do you, what are you going to do to fix this? And so we do the same with our pain. Yes. We go to our pain and we say, hey, you're hurting. What can I do to help you feel better? And that changes the game. So what I like is that in Convergence Healing, you address physical, emotional, and spiritual pain. Absolutely. Now, I've worked with mostly emotional pain in my work, mm -hmm. spiritual as well. Mm -hmm. But that's why I like... I like this book because it has the the body, the physical pain as well. Because I, right. I in the past I didn't know how to help people with physical right. pain, so I was right. like, oh my god. Right. So did you notice any differences between the type of pain? Or is one harder than the other? Or? You know, you know. I, let's I give the example often of say one of my football players, right? Mm -hmm. They come in and they racked up their back or their knee or something like that, right? Well, they are experiencing pain on all levels. You know, and let's just assume there's three. There's most likely more. But the physical level, the mental thought level, and the spirit heart level, right? Their body is obviously hurting on that physical level. But I can almost guarantee you that that mental pain and that anguish of am I going to be able to play the season? Am I going to be able to compete? Am I going to be able to go forward in my career? That mental pain and that anguish is probably more powerful than that physical pain and that broken heart of the thing that they love so much in the world mm -hmm. that they spent pretty much their entire life as a professional athlete or even before being an athlete that passion for that sport is now impossible mm -hmm. let's say mm -hmm. right depending on the injury yeah. or the damage right so you're dealing with a broken heart yes and you're dealing with a mind that's in panic and you're dealing with a body that's in pain, which one is more painful? Most of the time, it's the mind and the heart that is yeah, actually far more, more painful than it? the yeah. body. But you gotta heal them all, and you have to heal them all on all levels. In, Western wor in the Western world, what we've done is we only address that one level of pain. Yes. We address the physical level, we either drug it or cut it out. Yeah, totally, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. And you know, the, take the example of weight loss, right? Mm -hmm. People who are in pain because they're so heavy, yes. right? They're un unhappy with their lives. Well, they, they have a physical problem with the weight, but they probably have a broken heart because maybe they were taunted or made fun of or something like that and, or abused even as a child because of their weight. Or maybe the weight is a way that they are protecting themselves and they're in emotional, mental pain as well that there's the way they think about themselves is as the fat kid that yeah. nobody wanted and everybody picked last, let's say, yeah. right, on, on the yeah. playing field when they were a kid. So it's great to lose weight if you do all the diets and exercises and that type of thing, that's awesome. But if you're not addressing the way they think about themselves, because if they continue to think about themselves as a fat kid, and if their heart is still broken because of the abuse or the pain they suffered for being heavy, then they're most likely going to go right back to gaining the weight. Yeah. So they're going to do that whole roller coaster thing that we always, always yeah. hear about, right? Yeah. They lose the weight, but they don't deal with it emotionally or, or mentally. Yeah. You know, they don't deal with the heart and they don't deal with the head. So they just put the weight back on. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, what's your what's so you're a hypnotherapist yourself? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've stumbled into I, I have a master's degree in consciousness studies. So. I went and, and decided I was going to study thinking and, and consciousness. And so my degree is sort of a combination of, of uh, physics, of science, and theology. So it's a real combination of those types of things, uh, quantum theory, that type of stuff. And then I became a hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. and I did that 12-something years ago. Yeah. I've done some shamanic work. I've studied neurolinguistic programming. Uh, and a lot of stuff to just primarily heal me. I was hurting and I was in yes. pain, and the only thing I had offered to me was drugs and surgery, so I found other ways. And so I became an advocate for holistic therapies, and I did everything under the sun that I could find to yes. heal myself. 
Lovely. And so that's my work. My work is a real combination. I bring other people in because I don't want to be the only one. I want people to have a team and I'm part of that team. I'm going to address maybe the uh, one of those areas or maybe a little bit of each, but you know, I'll, maybe I'll work with somebody on their physical pain and lowering that pain with some neurolinguistic programming or some, some hypnosis work. Yes. Maybe I'll work with somebody on some shamanic German journeying type of thing on that yes. spirit level. Maybe I'll work with them on how their brain is going into uh, an overwhelm type of mode where their fear is hijacking them, right? And keeping them stuck in their pain. But they also need other people on their team. Yes. Maybe they need some body workers or some spiritual counselors, or maybe they need a medical doctor, or maybe they need a, a naturopathic doctor or something of that sort. So I work with people to create that team that's guided by the part of them that wants the healing and needs the healing, the pain itself. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so um, are you fully healed? Like, do you, you know, have like no pain in your body? Right now, in this very moment, yes. I can say yes. Okay. I right love now, it. in this very moment. Beautiful. I have, uh, like, I've, I've had an issue that came back okay. recently, and I've been, and I've been really exploring because the issue was a pain level that came back. Okay. And it came back due to a diet. I see. So I've been making dietary changes, and my pain's going. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So it's like a, mm -hmm. like healing is a process, right? It's not oh, a destination. Absolutely. Right? It's not yeah. a destination yeah, yeah. at all. Okay. Healing is a you know, for me to say, did I heal all those things that I had when I was a when I was you know, there's twenty years of chronic pain that I had, right? Yeah. That was due to having learned how to walk again and my body yeah. being reassembled and all that yes. type of stuff, right? Losing my purpose in life, losing yes. my voice and how I knew how to exist in the world. That's all healed. Mm -hmm. Now life is painful. Life is beautifully painful, mm -hmm. right? We fall in love and we lose love. We make money and we lose money. We, you know, go through the cycles always of the world. It's yeah. always, there's always yeah. changes yeah. and there's yeah. always challenges. Yes. So pain is something that's pretty much a constant. Yeah, yeah. And so these, these conversations that I encourage people to develop are organic, ongoing conversations with any part that comes up that's a historic problem maybe that's been going on for some time or that's something that is relatively new and you get a foundation for moving through life in this very organic fluid heart-based way of healing that is going to be with you for the rest of your life that's what convergence healing is all about i love it what's a story uh, from one of your clients that has touched you the most uh, that, that huh. you're, not, i don't want to say proud of but that you just are yeah. like Wow, you know, like that happened and I was a witness. Gosh, a whole bunch of them come yeah. to mind. It's so amazing. Um, so two quick stories. One, I had a woman who had been, I write about in the book, Convergence Healing, who had been gang raped. Mm -hmm. And I was, she came to me as a referral. She only was in California for a few days. I could only do one session with her. And I was able to get her out of her trauma. And she was able to then go and fight for custody of her children and all that kind of wow. stuff in one session. That's amazing. It was such a blessing. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then I had a man that I helped to die. Oh, wow. It was the most beautiful thing. Oh. It was one of the most beautiful experiences. I've had a couple clients that I've helped cross over. I tend to work a lot with anxiety, trauma, and addiction type of things. And he had a lot of traumas in his life and he wanted to clean them up before he passed. Wow. And it was so beautiful to actually yeah. help someone come to a place of serenity uh, at yeah. that time of their life. That's amazing. Yeah. How do you heal a broken heart? Wow, how do you heal a broken heart? Through love. It's pretty okay. simple. Yeah. A broken heart is generally a lack. It's generally something that isn't getting its need met. It's got a need to be loved or a need for affection or a need for care. And so you heal a broken heart by giving extra love, care, affection, tenderness, all that type of stuff to the part that's in pain. Beautiful. It sounds easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think that all hearts are meant to be broken? As yeah. they say, like that's why we come to Earth, right? I I, I would agree broken. with that. Yeah. There's a wonderful story that basically talks about uh, it's a it's a fairy tale, mm -hmm. and it talks about I don't even remember who wrote it, but it's a beautiful story about a town that's having a competition for the most beautiful heart. And there's a young man up on the stage, and they're about to crown him. And he has the most pure heart. There's not a flaw, not a mark on his heart. And he's gorgeous, and he's showing his heart to everybody, and just glowing and shiny. <laughs> you know, that type yeah, of thing, right? Yeah. And then there's this voice that comes from the crowd, and a very, very quiet, sort of crotchety voice that says, My turn. 
right? Or something like that. And, and hobbling up on the stage is this bent over, wrinkled uh, old man. He comes to the stage and he shows his heart and his heart has been wounded and there's pieces missing and there's pieces where other people put their heart on his and stitched it together to heal his. And all of that, he was then voted as the most beautiful heart because he had lived, he had, he had learned, his heart had suffered and grown and expanded and that love uh, was the most beautiful thing, the love that came about through those wounds and came about through that pain and that moving through that pain. And so that's the most beautiful heart. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Bedard, uh, check him out. Find his book, ConvergenceHealing.com, right? ConvergenceHealing.com and Convergence Healing, Healing Pain with Energetic Love. Awesome. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Give yourself.